In this video, you will learn how to create a box plot or box and whisker chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this box plot using this set of data. It is the data about the rainfall during three different months. In addition, you will also learn how to show outlier and mean values in box plot. Firstly, learn how to explain this box plot or box and whisker chart. I will place this chart here. The box plot shows the five values, minimum value, quartile one value, median value, quartile three values and maximum value. You don't need to calculate these values in Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel will automatically calculate these values and create a box and whisker chart for you. I have calculated these values for explanation purpose. If you look at this graph, it has two components. First one is the whisker, which is in the form of these lines. And second one is the form of box. The lower portion of this whisker indicates the minimum value and the upper portion of this whisker indicates the maximum value. For example, this one shows the January data and the minimum value in January is 100. If you look at this data, the minimum value is 100 and it is indicated by this lower end. And the maximum value in January is 189 millimeter and it is indicated by the top of this whisker. If you want to calculate the minimum or maximum value, you can also do that. Simply select a cell where you want to display the result. Put equal sign, write quartile. Here is the option of quartile inclusive. Double click on it. Select the data. Put comma sign. And from here, you can select a suitable option. In this case, I want to calculate minimum value. So I will double click on this minimum value. If you are interested to calculate maximum value, then you can use fourth option. In this case, I will use minimum value. So I will double click on it. After doing that, close the parenthesis and press enter. Now you can see our Microsoft Excel has calculated the minimum value that is the 100. And we have already calculated the minimum value that was 100. Similarly, the minimum value in the case of February is 120 and it is indicated by this lower end of this whisker. Now you will learn how to interpret the values of this box. Currently you can see here this box has three lines. The lower line shows the quartile one value. The central line shows the median value and the upper line shows the quartile three values. Quartile one or lower quartile is the value under which 25% of data are found when they are arranged in increasing order. Similarly, quartile 3 is also called upper quartile and it is the value under which 75% of data points are found when they are arranged in increasing order. You can easily calculate the quartile in Microsoft Excel. If you are interested to calculate the quartile 1 value, simply select the cell where you want to display the result. Put equal sign. Similarly, write quartile. Double click on this quartile inclusive option. After that, select the cell. For example, I want to calculate the quartile of January. Put comma sign and from here select first quartile. If you are interested to calculate first quartile, I will double click on it. Close the parenthesis and press enter. Now you can see here the quartile 1 value is 117 and here you can see here the quartile 1 value of January is 117. Similarly, you can calculate the median value as well as quartile 3 values. Currently, you can see here the lower line of this box shows the quartile 1 value which is 117. The central line of this box shows the median value which is 113. And the upper line of this box shows the quartile 3 value which is 152. Additionally, here you can see here the cross sign, it indicates the value of mean values. In a later part of this video, you will also learn how to show outlier in box and whisker plot. So let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. You don't need to calculate these values, simply select the data. Go to insert tab and under chart you will find the option of insert statistic chart, select this one and from here select box and whisker. Choose this option. I will place it here. Now you will learn how to conditionally format this graph. Go to this chart element option. From here select the axis title. I want to display the legend so I will select this option. I don't want these grid lines so I will deselect grid line option. 
Now you will learn how to edit this chart title. Select chart title, again click here and remove the existing data. Similarly select axis title and it indicates the rainfall. Now you can also format these chart title and axis title, select this one. Go to home tab and from here you can select the color. Bold them and from here you can select the font size. Similarly select this one. From here select the color. Bold them, select the font size 12. Similarly select the axis values and change your font size and color. Similarly select the legend and from here I will choose black color with 12 size. Now select the vertical axis, right click, here you will find the option of format axis. From here go to fill and line option, go to line option, from here choose solid line, select the color of this line, black, width of this line 1.5 pt. Now go to axis option, select this one, from here you will find the option of tick mark, select this one. Major type outside, minor type outside. In addition, you can also adjust the minimum and maximum value using this option. I will close this one. I don't want horizontal axis, so I will delete this one. If you are interested to display the data of legend in horizontal axis, then you will learn these techniques in later part of this video. For timing, I will remove this one. Select this one. Press backscape. Similarly, click here. Select horizontal axis and press backscape. Now you will learn how to show the outlier. Outliers are the data points that differ significantly from other observations. To understand outlier, you have to calculate three values. First one is the interquartile range, second one is the lower limit, and third one is the upper limit. Firstly, you will learn how to calculate the interquartile. Select a cell. Put equal sign, select quartile 3. For example, I am interested to calculate the interquartile range of January, so I will select quartile 3 value minus quartile 1 value, which is the 117. Press enter. So you can easily calculate the interquartile range by subtracting quartile 1 value from quartile 3. Now you will learn how to calculate the lower limit of January. Select a cell. Put equal sign, select the value of quartile 1, quartile 1 of January is 117, select this cell, minus sign, parenthesis. Now select interquartile value of that particular month, multiply by 1.5, close the parenthesis and press enter. Now you can see here, this is the lower limit for January. And if you are interested to calculate the upper limit, select a cell, put equal sign, select quartile 3 value of that particular month, then plus sign, parenthesis, select interquartile value, multiply by 1.5, close the parenthesis, press enter. Now you can see here it is the upper limit for January. The result of lower limit and upper limit demonstrate that if the rainfall is less than 64.5 then it will be outlier. Similarly if the rainfall is more than 204.5 then it will be a outlier. Currently you can see here all data points of January are within this limit, so there is no outlier. For the month of February, the lower limit is 46.5 and the upper limit is 282.5. Currently you can see here all data points are within this range. If I change this value which is 120 to 20, press enter. Now you can see here the 20 value is less than the lower limit for February which is the 
Hence the Microsoft Excel has displayed this data point as outlier. Now you will learn how to change the color of this box and whisker chart. Select this one. Right click. Go to format data series. From here go to fill and line option. From here choose solid fill. Select the color. I will choose red. Scroll down. Here you will find the option of border. Select solid line. Choose the color of line. Black. Scroll down. And from here choose the width of this border. 1 pt. 1.2 pt. Similarly select second box and whisker chart. Repeat similar step. Go to fill option. Select solid fill. From here choose green color. From border option, select solid line, black color with 1.2 pt width. Now you will learn other useful option. Select any box and whisker chart, click here, right click, go to format data series. And under the option of series, you will find different options. From here you can adjust the gap width. I will change it to 70% click here now you can see here you can easily adjust the width of this box and whisker chart using this option again click here and here you will observe other option show inner point if you check this option then inner point will be shown on your box and whisker chart similarly you can observe that here i have already checked the show outlier points here is the option of show mean marker. Currently you can see here that the mean markers are shown in the form of this cross. And here is the option of show mean line. You can also check this if you want. I will deselect this one. And here is a useful option of quartile calculation. From here choose inclusive median. Select this one and close this one. Now you can see here we have successfully completed the formatting. If you want to display these months on horizontal axis, you have to arrange this data like this one. It is two column data. First one shows the January data, later on February and in the end March data. So you have to arrange all this data in the form of two columns. After doing that simply select all data. Go to insert and repeat similar procedure as I earlier explained. Go to this option which is the insert statistic chart and choose box and whisker chart. From here you can see here that the legend data is displayed in the form of horizontal axis. So by using this option you can easily display the months on horizontal axis. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.